Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 62 on the Man Lake. I'm John as always, and it's Boxing Day for those of you in Canada and the UK and possibly other Commonwealth countries. I'm not sure who all celebrates Boxing Day. Not the US, I know that. What is Boxing Day? Well, that's a secret. I don't really know what the tradition is behind it. It's the day after Christmas, uh, and we're going to do Phantom Battle for Zendikar Sealed because we've been doing a whole lot of drafts, and I have had miserable luck. I, I mean, I've been 2 and one -ing. That That's better than, you know, 1 and 2 or 0 oh and 3 -ing. But I can't break 3 and 0, oh and I don't know why. So rather than try again for this week, I'm just going to do some sealed and see how I do there. We'll go back to draft uh, again for sure. And, uh, you know, we still have, I think, a month left of Battle for Zendikar. But we're going to do some sealed. So I will see you once the packs open. All right, here we are for the deck build. Phantom, of course, so uh, hopefully we don't have a foil Gideon or anything. We have Zada, Shambling Vent, March from uh, Beyond, March from the Tomb, from Beyond, Dust Stalker, and Drowner of Hope. Um, nothing amazing. Drowner's good. From Beyond had, can do some things. Shambling Vent is good. Uh, let's do the usual sort by color and pull down the stuff that I'm very happy to see and very happy to play. Uh, Sentinel, Griffin, Stasis Snare. We haven't played that yet. Actually, I did play that, I think, once. So it does, in fact, exist in the format. Uh, who knows if we'll play it today. Sheer drop, sheer drop. Um, McKinney Control is not something I would say I'm happy to play, but it's fine. Let's put it down. Oops, not um, not that. We'll just Stonehaven. No, go away. Uh, Patrol, Castigator, Blade Whirl. With the Master's Focus. Uh, those aren't terrible. White's not terrible. Um, blue, however, looks good. <laughs> Holy, looks very good. Um, uh, Salvage Drone will make it, but I won't say that I'm happy to play it. Mist Intruder, Benthic, Sky Spawner, Ruination Guide, Adverse Conditions, Coastal Discovery, Cryptic Cruiser, Incubation Drone, Merc Strider, Oracle Drowner. We're playing blue. <laughs> There's no way I'm not. Uh, black, Skimmer, Skimmer, Dominator, Healer. Well, hopefully red has some stuff. Uh, <laughs> Rolling Thunder, uh, Turn Against... Um, Sentinel, Outnumber, ooh, I might be happy with Grixis, to be honest, because then we could play Duststalker, uh, let's look at green, Let, let's give everything it's uh, due, but we all know what we think of green, right? Um, from Beyond, <laughs> Snapping Gnarled, uh, Lifespring Druid, yeah, go away green, nobody plays you. Um, March from the Tomb, out, probably. Uh, Dust Stalker, in. We have a Blighted Woodland, big whoop. We have an Evolving Wilds, very nice. Um, Shambling Vent, of course, uh, for Black White, but we may not be able to do that. Uh, Despoiler, Titan's Presence. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to look at, uh, what Grixis looks like, because it looks good. Oh, it looks good. There's 22 cards. 16 creatures. A lovely curve. Ha! <laughs> this pool feels good. <clears throat> oh, it feels good. How much uh, ingest do I have? Uh, salvage drone. You get in there too. We have salvage, misty, benthic, rumination guide, dominator drone. So that will fuel Merc Strider, and will fuel Despoiler and Oracle of Dust. Oh, I like this deck. Oh, I like this pool. This pool is nice. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> um, how much colorless do we have? Drowner, Oracle, Merc, Incubator, Cryptic. Enough. Enough that, yeah, Ruination Guide and uh, Sentinel are doing some good things. Uh, cohort, I'm fine without. Molten Nursery, would it actually be worthwhile? How many non-colorless cards do I have? One, two, three, four. I have four non-colorless cards. Clastra Healer might even just not fit, right? I have no allies. Yeah, Clastra Healer, sorry for your luck. Get out of there. Yeah, Molten Nursery. I feel like you need multiples of those, though. I don't want to risk it. Um, oh, I am liking this deck. 
Oh, beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. That, of course, means we are going to go 0-3. Um, but, wow, I feel really good about this. Uh, Evolving Wild gets in there. Um, do I want a Mortuary Mire? No, I don't think so. Just the Evolving Wilds. Let's add some lands. 944. So that's technically 1055. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Looks good. Looks good. Don't want transgresses, don't want altars reap, don't want swarm surges, or null, or malice, or geyser field. No wave wing. No second merc strider. Yeah, I like it. The only thing that would be better uh, would be, of course, if I had, you know, removal, complete disregard, or even some spell shrivels. But I still really like this deck. Uh, I, I feel confident. I feel confident with this deck. So we'll see if I can... Uh, uh, you know, turn that confidence into wins, but uh, I will see you guys for round one and where hopefully Grixis can uh, do some good stuff.